What is up everybody? Zerf Rocket TV and check it out. It is that time of the month once again. It is the June login hero time. So let's check it out. I know he is a dragon man. So let's get right to it with Magdor. Not Tragdor, right? Tragdor! Okay, whatever. <laughs> so Magdor, the dragon soul. Nice. Kick ass. He's got a uh, sweet ass shield and sweet ass knife sword thing and a cool helmet. So let's get right to leveling him up before we start equipping him with stuff and seeing what his skills do and all that jazz. Let's see at least if we can get him to purple and then we'll see exactly where in the lineup he sits and then we'll check out his attack rotation and all that stuff. See if he looks like he's going to be a uh, kick-ass dragon man or not because uh, hopefully, hopefully he uh, lives up to the Trogdor name and is a kick-ass dragon man. Half man, half dragon. Okay. Let's go back door. Burn the night in the countryside. Okay, here we go. Let's get him to about 70. And we'll call it good for now. Oh, 69, sounds good. All right. I never planned that, by the way. So let's go down here, uh, see what kind of equipment he needs. Uh, for his early fusions, obviously it's just going to be this simple stuff, whatever, all gray equipment. So fuse, boom, and we'll go look at the skills later. I don't want to look at him quite yet. Uh, don't want to spoil myself. We'll go in there in a second. I do know he has a dragon transformation and some other abilities, so can't wait to see what that looks like in... Uh, in the actual fight. And I think that's, uh, he is going to provide a really interesting new aspect to the arena. Since I also read that his uh, dragon or his ultimate can be activated at 80% energy. So it doesn't require 100% energy to activate. So that's one. Uh, two, if he actually has a decent enough uh, energy regeneration by himself, then that means that he could get some pretty early ults off in the arena. Uh, which, you know, I, I, I think is always interesting when they uh, they add, you know, like a piece that hasn't really been seen before. I mean, sure, we have people like Seraphine uh, who can charge their ults extremely quickly already. Uh, but well, we'll see how this works out, especially as a frontliner uh, taking a lot of heat. <coughs> Pardon me there. OK, let's uh, get in here. It looks like we're going to at least be able to get him to uh, purple. And we'll see. Nice, purple. Ah, we can at least get him to purple plus one, so that's cool. Let's uh, keep on going. So healing bonus. So he must have some sort of self-heal going on. That's interesting. So max, more max life. Needs more life. Put that heavy club. Fuse. Ooh, hey. We can get him to purple plus two. Nice. Oh, no, never mind. We need uh, another golden mallet. Hey, <laughs> you know what? Let's get that, just real quick, because, yeah, screw that. We're getting them to purple plus two. Why not, right? Boom, back. Craft. Craft. Equip. Awesome. Let's keep on going. Hopefully that's it for the uh, golden mounts, since we are, are really out of those. Equip. Fuse. Cool. And, uh, yeah, so need some more golden mounts for that Doomsday Blade. But really, so far... Uh, looking pretty uh, pretty easy to equip up here. Not a lot of expensive items so far. So far. We're out of natural remedies. So let's see what uh, Purple Plus 3 and Purple Plus 4 have in store. So we do start running into Natural Remedy there. Uh, another Natural Remedy for this Heavenly Amulet. Uh, we're going to be getting another uh, Goblet of the Ancients. So you need at least two, uh, I think... No, that one doesn't require Goblet. Uh, so at least two Goblet of the Ancients. Uh, you're going to be getting uh, that as Ezreal's Roar is pretty easy. So is Doomsday Armor. Uh, Conqueror's Chest Plate does require Natural Remedy. So let's see. One, two, uh, three, four. So quite a few Natural Remedies required for him. But, uh, you know, all in all, not too difficult to gear up. So let's get right to the abilities, right? So Dragonheart. 
Whenever Magdor has over 80% energy, he can take the form of a dragon. In dragon form, his basic attacks will deal damage over a small range and damage over time. All his other abilities will become more powerful as well. However, Magdor's energy is rapidly deleted while he's a dragon lord. <gasps> okay, so let's check out damage per second plus three. So he gets just plus three da damage per second on his basic attack for each level up. Uh, Dragonfire. Magdor blasts the enemy with Dragonfire, dealing AoE physical damage, which ignores enemy armor. Always awesome. That'll be true damage type of ability. And plus eight damage per level. So let's just get that plus. Plus five. So Magdor deals a blow to a single enemy with his Dragon Bash. With his shield. Uh, dealing physical damage as well as knocking back and stunning them. So a base of 252 with the stun rate increasing. So 12 plus stun rate. Uh, pretty standard stuff. And then a Dragon Blood. The blood of a dragon flows through Magdor's veins, making him less vulnerable to physical attacks. So quite a bit of physical armor, 328, plus 8 per level. So, I mean, obviously he's going to be able to take physical hits like a champ. And it did look, like I said, a lot of natural remedies. Uh, I think with 7 stars fully equipped, he's around that 50,000 HP mark. So pretty darned high in the HP arena. So let's go into the campaign real quick and check him out. Let's see how this will work here. Um, probably can't. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to fight through here. So first, let's go to the front line, right? And put Magdor, Magdor in and see where he sits in the lineup. So he is... Oh... Oh, in front of, or behind Musashi. So, yeah, it looks like just just a few of the people are going to be in front, or, uh, excuse me, uh, behind Magdor. Uh, most most of the frontliners are going to be in front of him. So he is not the very furthest back, but pretty darn far back as far as uh, frontliners are concerned. So let's just go right into this battle. And hopefully he doesn't die on us <laughs> too quickly. Boom! So he goes straight into a bash and then he uses his dragon breath abilities so he uses his abilities right off the bat that's interesting then basic attack basic attack and then bash so bash and then we can use his dragon ability to turn into dragon <laughs> nice Ooh, big old claw yeah that's awesome <laughs> he looks so cool oh man I can't wait to use it. Oh, wow. Okay, so he does get a... He gets a pretty decent amount of energy still from his basic attacks, even when he's in dragon form. So even without taking any damage or killing anybody, it looks like he's going to be able to sustain his dragon form pretty darn well. So uh, he should kind of, you know, transform into dragon, and unless he's taking no damage whatsoever. He should be able to sustain that pretty darn well, which is pretty good for... Um, might make him decent for raids. We'll see. I mean, uh, you know, as somebody who doesn't buff the party's damage so much, it's kind of hard to fit him into some of those Hall of Legends fights and stuff. But we'll see. Maybe he can find his way into the, those uh, compositions. But uh, Magdor looks pretty badass. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this spotlight on Magdor the Dragon Soul. He is a badass half-dragon, half-man who is going to burninate the countryside with his fire. So look forward to that. Um, if you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like down below and comment. Let me know what you think of Magdor the Dragon Soul because I think he's going to be a badass. Once again, this has been Eric for Rocket TV. Until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Peace.